Telen Rao, former DCP Special Cell, is also joining us on the program. Mr. Rao, I hope you can hear me, sir. Yes, I can hear you. Sir, what kind of a nuisance are we dealing with here? You know, this is a situation where, uh, you know, a lot of these mails cannot be verified. But on the other side, the flip side for a school or a parent would be that they can't even take any chances. Yes, uh, this is a uh, serious threat. Uh, no doubt, we, we cannot take it lightly. And that's why the uh, police uh, department and the uh, school administration has taken it very seriously. And uh, uh, the, the, uh, these emails will be traced. I think the crime uh, crime branch and the cyber cell of special cell, they are working on that. And I think that they, they will be tracing this uh, 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 the, the location of the email from where it has been generated. And the investigation is going on. I think so. It will take some time, but uh, definitely because the contents of the email are said to be the same and that the emails have been sent as CC or DCC like that. Um, uh, uh, but anyway, this is uh, really a serious matter. It's a concern of security and safety of the children as well as the school uh, teachers and school administration. And that's why uh, such, such uh, email threats cannot be taken lightly. But in the past, if we go by the experience in the past, such hoax calls, that these are called the hoax calls. These hoax calls are general in, uh, in uh, Delhi or uh, NCR. And the, these may be found in the uh, hoax call like in the airport while that saying that there is a bomb planted in a particular flight and then uh, hoax call in the railway stations and buses like that. So um, uh, even then every, everything is taken very seriously because we can't uh, uh, really ex uh, uh, know that whether some, uh, some uh, uh, email or some threat, this type of threat, uh, hoax threat, uh, by email, uh, maybe a true also, maybe a false, but uh, we cannot take chance uh, and especially in keeping in view the situation in the schools and there's a, a really a matter of great concern and um, uh, because the, if there is some uh, true incident of bomb, uh, bombing in any school, that will be a great damage to the, uh, uh, the school children, school uh, uh, property and the school uh, teachers that's well. That, uh, so that, uh, that to, to avoid that thing that the Delhi police has activated and they are searching all the premises uh, with the help of dog squad and uh, bomb disposal, bomb uh, detection equipments and everywhere there is a great uh, serious... And, and Dr. Rao, schools are not airports, sir. What kind of an extra duress and stress is this going to put on school administrations? You know, if, if they are, you know, supposed to tackle with these recurrent threats, uh, these threats cannot be uh, uh, even uh, stopped like this. That uh, that that if there is some threat, uh, some mischief monger has done it. So it can be. It, it, it's very difficult to prevent it. But uh, uh, this uh, concern by this uh, 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 school administration and the uh, uh, parents of the uh, school children definitely it's a great concern and uh, it's a really a panic situation in Delhi and CR and uh, 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 it happens uh, sometimes. It's not happens every day. It sometimes happens. But uh, uh, if, if you go by the experience, uh, out of uh, 100 hoax calls, maybe uh, or one or two hoax calls are uh, proved to be true. Uh, this is a pattern of uh, statistically I have um, uh, uh, received from the data of NCRB. There are so many hoax calls, but uh, almost all are uh, uh, fake and just to terrorize the people and just to create panic in the uh, uh, society or panic in the mind of the parents of the school. You are right that it's not an airport, but the schools, the, the amplitude of this uh, uh, seriousness and the uh, concern by the parents and the teachers and the school, school children that is uh, more vulnerable in uh, schools rather than any, school, uh, any airport or any railway station or any, any bus. But uh, really because um, that's why the police is definitely, in Delhi police I have been told that they were very much alert and they started uh, their operations as soon as possible and they are now they're, they're working on their investigation of this part to find out from which the, these emails were generated and I think with the IP address of the uh, these emails it will be um, um, very easy to trace them out if there is a, not a, uh, any remote uh, sensing email that is a black hub and like that. But even then, the cyber cell officials of Delhi Police and Special Cell, they are very much expert and I'm hopeful that these will be traced. And after tracing these email generations, the person concerned will be uh, arrested and they will be interrogated at length. Their motive will be known and the, what was the motive, why they have done it. So all these questions will be answered after the thorough investigation when these persons are caught in this case.
For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.